Well, here we are again, Purple Valkyrie, and we are back with more Phenomenal. This one blew me away because this actually is right here on Earth, and it is the most alien-looking lake I have ever seen. Now, I've been to Yellowstone National Park, and I've seen all of the fantastic geysers there, including the prismatic one. But this one is even weirder than that. Yes, this is beautiful. It almost looks like a, a watercolor or a marbling. This is incredible. It, it does. It looks like some type of just beautiful paving, and yet it is actually water in the lake. The natural world has many wonderful things. Perhaps the most remarkable is the so-called Spotted Lake in British Columbia, Canada. It is a polka-dotted body of water that looks so bizarre you could be forgiven for thinking you are on an alien planet. And let's be honest about it, this is better CG than we've seen from anything Star Trek or Star Wars on Disney, <laughs> if we're honest about it. Yes, yes, it's, it's not a desert, so I will take it, absolutely. Yeah! This looks incredible. And as it goes on to say, the lake is famous because during the summer, it undergoes a remarkable transformation, becoming spotted with different colors and the water resembles a polka dot design. Looking Crazy. at these pictures, it is beautiful. So this lake is not only a remarkable physical feature, but also very important historical and spiritual site for the local First Nation peoples. This looks like something you'd expect to see in a strange new world or in, in something like Avatar. This body of water is situated in the Samalcomene Valley of the South Okanagan Grasslands Protected Area of British Columbia, and it is often referred to as Lake Osoyos. It is not far from the U.S. border in the state of Washington. Can you imagine flying over this thing and, you know, wondering what it is you're seeing? It is beautiful. Yeah, this lake is about a half mile long. It's about 200 yards wide. Cleluk is a saline endioric alki lake. It is unique among many bodies of water in Canada and the world. The reason behind this is that it contains a large number of very concentrated minerals and during the hot summer months when the, the water surface evaporates and the water levels dissipate, these minerals remain on top. So this is what gives the appearance of the polka dots as a result of a chemical balance within the lake. Spotted Lake is richly concentrated with a variety of minerals. It contains very dense deposits of magnesium sulfate, calcium, and sodium phosphates. It also contains concentrations of eight other minerals in lower amounts such as silver and titanium. So that would explain the different uh, reactions throughout the year, what causes mm -hmm. them to change. Magnesium sulfate, which crystallizes in the summer, is the major contributor to spot color. In the summer, the remaining minerals in the lake harden to form natural walkways around and between the spots. Wow, that is incredible. This striking lake has long fascinated people. The local First Nations and the Okanagan tribe have lived in the area up to 3,000 years. I'd actually say longer, but mm -hmm. that's another show. And today, many live in Nicola Valley. Spotted Lake is a very sacred site for the tribe, and it is considered to be mystical and magical. I don't know. This looks pretty mystical and magical to me. What do you think, Purple mm -hmm. Valkyrie? I would absolutely agree and can see why it's it's so revered. It's believed that each of the spots has a specific power and can cure a particular illness. In the past, the Okanagan would bathe or soak in the waters. Depending on what they needed healing, they would go to each different part of the lake. And I, I absolutely love that idea. And around this lake, there are also some original First Nations stone remains as well as cairns. So this lake has long been a site of mysticism and reverence. Late July is the best time to visit the lake. Access is extremely limited due to the lake's spiritual and cultural significance, and it is not permitted, unfortunately, to bathe or soak in the waters. The lake can be viewed from the fence that has been erected for its protection from the liability of public access. There are many travelers who stop to take a look. And what's fascinating is the spots on this lake never stop changing. 
That is incredible. And this very much reminds me of the respect that the people in Iceland have for their environment. So a lot of Iceland is covered in a very sensitive moss and you're not allowed to go off road or, or to walk on it just to protect this moss because it takes so long for it to grow. Take nothing but memories, leave nothing but footprints. Exactly. There are several ways to get to Spotted Lake. It is about four and a half hours from Vancouver in British Columbia. It is located on Highway 3, about seven miles outside of the town of Osoyos. It's possible to book a tour which will provide information on the lake and its history. There is also accommodation nearby. What an absolutely fascinating location that looks alien and for me hits all the marks of what it means to be phenomenal. We have the mystic, we have the spiritual, we have a lake that has been revered for over 3,000 years. It is truly a stunning work of creation. It is, and it just goes to remind us what an incredible planet that we live on. And I would love to do a little bit more research on this and see what colors the lake changes. Because even the pictures that we've seen in this article, all of them are different and all of them, they're almost going through the different seasons. So what do you think, Purple Valkyrie? Should we go to British Columbia and go hang out at this super cool spotted lake? You think we'll see some UFOs and Bigfoot around the spotted lake? <laughs> I, I think we have a high chance of seeing something there, but even just <laughs> seeing the lake itself would be incredible. As you correctly said earlier, it doesn't look like it's from this planet. It looks so yeah. alien and I'm really happy to, to learn that this place exists. It is absolutely beautiful. That's going to do it for this episode of Phenomenal. Be sure to check us out next time. You all have a great day. Take care, everyone. As ever, this is Salty Texas Sea. I am Corey DB. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you've seen and heard, please hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you on board. That way you know, and we have things like live streams, which we are going to be doing every Tuesday evening. Take care. I hope you're having a great 2022.